YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of the ArcDev kit and also how to add materials onto your landscapes. Now here are your modes which is what you're going to use to make some of the components in your map. This right here is the scene outliner so whatever you place inside your map it will show up here see like atmospheric fog that's where it is and so instead of having to click through uh, your map you can just go ahead and hit one of you actually go up to the scene outliner and pick the certain item you want to move or edit so and then these are all the files within the game like uh, materials textures shaders uh, your trees foliage that you can actually place onto the map. I'll show you how to do that in a later video. Now, let's get down to business. First of all, to edit a material onto your landscape, you're going to hit the little mountain symbol in the top left. Then you're going to be prompted with a little tab like this. You can scale it however you want, make it to where the quads are smaller, see, like that. But just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to make it how it was before. You can change the resolution if you would like. I'm just going to leave it. Let's see how big it is. Actually, I'm going to edit it a little bit. Actually, I'll just put in 200. 200 make it a little big so then got your landscape now you're gonna want to hit create it's gonna generate this plain texture now you go up to the scene outliner and you click on landscape Make sure you're out of the landscape uh, portion right here and just go back to place. You just click this landscape or click it in the scene outliner. You're going to go down to uh, into the details and go down to landscape material and add you know whatever material that pleases your needs. For this video I'm going to use the grass stone material or actually I'm just going to use this one grass zero one underscore mat instance you gotta give it a few minutes or so to compile the shaders Unfortunately, it takes a little bit. happened there oh uh, wrong wrong material let me just add another one grass stones this is what we're going to use grass underscore stones and that will give us what we want S like so now What we're going to go ahead and do is select that. You can edit the settings how you like.
now for this um I usually just make it the same as this one so let me just go down to the grass underscore stones make sure that's the same I mean you can make it different a different uh, material if you want Now, now that that's done, that's um pretty much all there is with the landscaping portion. I mean, you can still edit the size to how you want and whatnot. Oh, I'm on the wrong item. Here we go. You can still edit the size and whatnot. And the next video, I'll show you how to get rid of these little lines right here so you don't see those in your actual game Th and also I'd, I'll just go ahead and show you uh, the sculpting portion of the landscaping as well so in order to sculpt um, this ground right here you're going to want to go up to the mountain icon instead of manage you're going to hit sculpt hit this little sculpt tool now whatever you're trying to do whatever it may be um, you, know, you can just hit um, e hydro erosion for example make it smooth um, you can make it tip here are the tool settings where you can edit the tool strength which is just whatever the case may be so if it's erosion it's gonna erode down into the ground so say it's just gonna do that if the tool strength is on 0 0.3 but if I crank it up to 0 0.7 it's gonna do it a whole lot more intensely the hole is gonna go deeper at a more rapid rate for tool strength And the rain amount. Um, you can edit that how you want. But it, say if you didn't want to do that, you can just hit Control Z, and it'll redo or undo. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just hit Sculpt. And this will allow you just to sculpt some mountains out. I'm going to edit the tool strength. Or that's brush size, don't want that. Uh, tool strength. Put it just about all the way up. You want to make these mountains a little high. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. Because you can just smooth it out later. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So, how these mountains are a little pointy on the tops, you can just go ahead and go down to Sculpt. And then go Smooth. And what that will do is make it more like mountains because mountains really aren't you know spiky like this see it kind of like smooth it out and if you wanted an actual mountain like you could actually you know walk on comfortably you can just instead of smooth you can just go flatten but I would smooth it out before you flatten it we have to turn the tool strength down. See, make it. I wouldn't make it too flat. I just make it flat here and there. So it still kind of looks like a mountain, but it's also flat, so it's walkable. And 
if you wanted to let's just say uh, oh the erosion portion can also be used to cave in the ground so that you can create lakes rivers etc and ramping it's not really it's, you're actually just creating a ramp more so of rather than like actual landscaping I'll explain that later just undo oh, I want to delete alright I'll just leave that there but for right now it's it's not in the way so manage selection tool you can actually manage a certain piece so say you wanted to just manage that certain piece you go to manage double click it go on here and you can actually delete it see like that but we don't want to do that that's just depending on what you're working on you can just you can just go back up and hit add and then double click it and it will add it back here if you didn't like the certain landscape you're on you can just go here new landscape and it will uh, generate another landscape or if you wanted to merge them together um, go here let's see is there anything else the noise portion that's just gonna it's kinda like the same dilemma with the sculpting except it's not as like spiky on the tops it, I'd say it's more of a smoother sculpting rather so than the original just sculpting here just go ahead and just smooth it out or you can flatten it out but see how it looks weird whether when you flatten it out before smoothing it okay I think I've covered everything that I was supposed to cover with landscaping um, like I said in further episodes I will show you how to actually get rid of these lines but for right now um, I'm, I'm just gonna leave them but Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy.